Hi there guys, welcome everybody to Idol I Burn Listening Party. It's going to be my first full album or mini album in this case by them that I listen to. And uh, you know, fun fact, as most of you guys know, my all time favorite track by them is Lion, which is a B side. So I'm not gonna hide my excitement about what we're about to do here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hear some some masterpieces in this one. Also considering the fact that the, the album is gonna be darker, I haven't heard that like little spoiler video thing for all tracks on the album. I kept myself away from that, but you guys told me that the album is pretty dark. So very excited to listen to the whole thing. Let's begin here. But before we jump in, guys, don't forget that on my Patreon, I've got more than 400 exclusive reactions to BTS, Twice, Red Velvet, some survival shows and K-dramas like My Mister and Hotel Del Luna. So if you'd like to see all of that, uh, all of those exclusive reactions, make sure to check it out. The link to my Patreon is going to be down below. Okay, the next one is called Moon. Moon. Um, so you know what I'm hearing? Just like in uh, Alone in the Winter, they're vocals sound very very close to my ears if you know what i mean very prominent very textured very easy to hear very forward in the mix i like that i like that thing it sounds like they're also pretty close to the microphone Okay, okay, okay. So who do we got here? It, it's either Suhua or Mini singing. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I kind of feel like it's Suhua, but I don't know. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I don't know their voices that well. But uh, a very interesting sound quality here, that's for sure. Two minutes, okay. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys feel the same way about this one, but does it sound kind of retro to you? Just the sounds, the kind of sounds that they're using? Especially here in the bridge. That wow, wow, wow type of synth. Um, so. I guess because of this, you know, I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of retro music in general. So, uh, because of that, so far, 
I I can't really say that anything stood out to me that much. Uh, that I really liked anything. Again, just remember, it's my personal musical taste. Um, the hook line with the moonlight. Also, I, I can't say that I like it that much. So, let's keep going here. Let's see what happens. But, uh, uh, so far, yeah, I wouldn't say this is my cup of tea. Okay, so yeah, in this part, the um, instrumental is a little more, like, saturated with different sounds. Mm-hmm. Like a clock, right? Uh huh. Okay, and you see, they're singing about moonlight. So, um, alone in the in the winter sounded like it was con when reading the lyrics looked like it was connected to Hua. Now this one, moonlight. Is it connected to Alone in the Winter? We're gonna see now. So let's let's check out the lyrics for this song. All right. So for this one, we got Zati Farhani, my main go-to channel, and uh, they literally posted this video two minutes ago. It said no views. <laughs> Maybe I'm the first one. Okay. So mini, mini. Yeah, they want to hide, they want to hide. Don't want the moon to shine. Nobody can see me, please hide me.
you know what, guys? Even though I, you know, I personally didn't really like this song, I think it's very title track worthy. And I think, especially the hook line, it's very easy to remember. And I, as I'm listening to it, I can already kind of envision the music video for it. I think it could be pretty cool. You know, they did come out with a music video for Lion, and it's a B-side. Maybe they're going to do one for this one, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's... The, the music video for it could be very, very interesting. Yeah, so I'm I'm going like I'm going mm -hmm, like yeah yeah yeah, but uh, but I don't really get what the lyrics are about. Like I'm I'm reading the words, you know, I understand the meaning of the words, but uh, to connect it into one story, that's pretty tricky. So, but yeah, but but it's sad, just like the previous ones, previous songs. So, uh, with this one, yeah. It's not really my cup of tea, maybe because of retro instrumental, maybe because of something else. Just, you know, the melodies. Uh, but yeah, like on the second listen, I, I guess I liked it a little more. But uh, I would actually love to see the music video for it because uh, I guess they could they could show what the lyrics are about a little better with the music video. Uh, so yeah, this is it for this one. Let's keep going with the next song. I hope you enjoyed listening to this album together with me. Let me know down below whether this one matched your personal musical taste. And I'll catch you all air and in my next video. As always, guys, take care. Keep listening to great music. Keep supporting Idol and love.